Hi, my name is Mr. Enger, and uh, I've been teaching the uh, PACES for science for quite a while. And I know that this particular PACE 1102 about biology has a section about photosynthesis that uh, can be a challenge. I'm looking at page 17 of the PACE. I trust that uh, you saw the video that I put together that explains this diagram a little better for you and shows you a different view of it. Uh, but we want to talk about the formula and a way to memorize it because this formula down here you're going to have to have memorized for your checkup, for your self-test, for your PACE test. And I'm going to give you some clues right now and remind you of some things that I'm sure you already know about photosynthesis and what happens in plants and kind of unlock the formula so that it won't be as scary for you. Ready? If I were to ask you, and this is what I typically do when I'm doing this with students, is I'll ask them, what do you know about photosynthesis? What do plants take in in order to do photosynthesis? And then what do they give off as a product? And invariably, students will tell me that it takes in carbon dioxide. They know that, okay? So as humans and plants, we give off carbon dioxide when we breathe. So the formula for that is CO2 carbon di to dioxide. Now you know that, or if you didn't, you will be learning that even better in uh, physical science probably next year. And we're going to set up an equation here. We're going to show you how we're going to balance it real quick. And uh, don't, be, don't be intimidated by that. Next year in physical science, you'll learn more about writing equations and balancing equations. Now, oxygen is the thing that is given off. So over here, I'm going to write oxygen, but oxygen is a twin. It's always O2. An oxygen atom is never found by itself. It's always with a twin sister. All right, so we're going to call this O2. If I were to ask you what is the chemical formula for water, I'm sure you would know that that's H2O. All right. Water over here is also H2O. Okay. So both places water is coming in. Now the sun's energy does not really enter into the equation as something to put in as, as part of the formula. We're just going to call it energy. That's the way you have to uh, memorize it for the test. All right. <clears throat> Glucose is the form of energy, the stored form that is going to be saved in the, in the roots and in the, uh, in the, in the fruit in the stem, different places in the plant. Glucose, in this case, has a chemical formula. Now I'm going to write something down here, and then we're going to add to it CHO. Ooh, when I start writing CHO, what do you think of? Do you think of chocolate? When you think of chocolate, do you think of stored energy? Yeah, quick energy. So we're going to have that as a reminder. Chocolate is our form of stored energy. Now, it really isn't chocolate, and this is not the formula for chocolate. I don't want to confuse you, but just a mental association uh, that glucose, a form of stored energy, we're going to associate with chocolate. Now, here's where the magic comes in. All of this you kind of know. Now we're going to balance it, and look at this. We're going to put in 6 out front, 12 here. We're going to put a 6 here, a 12 here, and a 6 here, and then a 6 here, and a 6 on the end. All right? Now, if you look at your pace, look at the bottom there, let's see if we got that correct. 6 carbon dioxide plus 12 H2O water plus energy yields, and chlorophyll is the enzyme, it's the catalyst that allows us to take place. So chlorophyll doesn't get used up. It's just uh, the tool that gets it's, it's needed in order for this transaction to take place. Glucose is C6H12O6. Remember we think about chocolate and then water, six water and six oxygen. So look how many times the six and the 12 show up in here. Six, 12, six, 12, six, and then six and six. Notice there's no number out front here. All right, isn't that easy? So let's review again. You know carbon dioxide is CH or CO2. You know now that oxygen is O2 and that that's what's required. This is what's given off. Water is required, water is given off. Okay? 
sun's energy comes in, it gets converted into glucose. That's the whole goal of uh, photosynthesis taking place, is to convert light energy into a stored form that the plant can use. And then we do the 6, the 12, 6, 12, 6, 6, 6, and we're done. I would suggest that right now you turn off the video and you try, just by memory, writing as much of that as you can, and then go back and compare it to your pace and see if you missed anything, correct it, and then do it again about two or three times. And I'll bet you within a very short time you'll have this formula mastered and memorized, and you won't be intimidated by it when you see it on the checkup and the self-test and the pace test.